You might have heard the song by Machine Gun Kelly called Twin Flame. It's a recent song that recently published. It's about Twin Flames. It's got a lot of attention. It's getting millions of views and thousands of comments. And the comments are really interesting. The lyrics are very interesting. So I just thought I'd make this video, you know, to analyze a bit about this and explain what the song means, why it's interesting that the co certain comments are being posted. And there's also one kind of thing that I really disagree with about the song, about the lyrics in particular, which I think if you are a Twin Flame or if you have a Twin Flame, this could be really holding you back. This video is sponsored by Keen. Get your first twin film reading for only $1.99 through our special link in the description. So if you don't already know, my name's Steph. I'm one half of Twin Flame Guides. I'm a part of a Twin Flame couple in full union. We teach all about this on our channel, so I won't bore you with that. So firstly, the good stuff. The fact that this song by Machine Gun Kelly called Twin Flame has been released and it's getting millions of views shows that there is some audience or interest in this topic where before there might not have been that much of an interest in it. This is good because it's getting the idea into popular opinion. People are becoming more open to these things and to more spiritual concepts. And that will ultimately lead to more people having spiritual experiences, realizing the truth and learning more about themselves. So that's great. There's also a lot of comments under this video, thousands of comments, and some of them with thousands of upvotes, saying things like, and I'm just gonna read out a couple of them, things like, this song spoke to my soul. Only the ones that have met their twin flame are gonna feel this song as it's supposed to be felt. This is so sweet, I know the exact feeling. People really seem to resonate with this song and the message and the lyrics, because many people have a twin flame and they know that they have these experiences, but they, up until fairly recently, haven't had a way to express them. Maybe they've thought that they were crazy or that it was all in their head, or maybe they just didn't feel confident enough to share them. But now things are changing. So that's good news as well. However, there's one thing about the lyrics, which I really think is not ideal, especially if you're a twin flame and you're listening to this song and you're like singing along to the lyrics. The chorus is really going to hold you back and I'll explain why. And by the way, this is not a dig at Machine Gun Kelly. The song's great. You know, it sounds nice. It's well produced. I'm sure this wasn't the intention, but this is just my perspective. So you can do with this whatever you want. You don't have to take this on board and listen to me. It's just my idea. So the chorus says, and this is the lyrics of the chorus, you're too good for me, I'm too bad to keep, I'm too sad, lonely, I want you only. So the problem with that is that what you, what that's doing when you have that as a lyric and when you affirm that and sing it, you're confirming the difficulty. You're basically manifesting that it will be a difficult and struggle-filled journey and that it's going to be hard and painful and stressful when it really doesn't have to be. And I've said this in many other videos and we have an entire program about it. We teach this widely on our channel. It really doesn't have to be difficult and stressful and, and painful. And a lot of this comes down to the way you talk about it, the story you tell yourself about the journey. So if you constantly tell yourself this is difficult, it's stressful, it's meant to be hard, then of course you're going to look for experiences that confirm that. Because the subconscious mind, there's different descriptions of this, like one of them is for example the reticular activation, activating system, which means that what you focus on, your brain will subconsciously look for more of that and give you more of that. So even if, you if you're focusing on something you don't want, if you focus on it, your brain will look for experiences that give you more of that and it will be a self-perpetuating cycle. This happens so much in relationships, it happens in with money blocks, manifestations, manifestation blocks. Basically what you focus on and confirm by the stories you tell is what you will experience more of. So it's really important to pay attention to the words you're saying and, and the thoughts you're having. Because when you say something like, you're too good for me, right? Straight away, you're putting your twin flame or partner on a pedestal and confirming that you believe that they're too good for you. So of course, you're never gonna feel like you're enough. And that's gonna project in everything you do, the way you message, the way you think, the way you act, is you're gonna project that, that, la that energy of lack and that energy of, I'm not good enough for you. You're gonna project that in everything you do. And that's obviously gonna push your twin flame away even more. So you really need to come back to the truth, which is just owning the truth, which is that you're meant for each other. It's, it should be effortless and natural and mutual. So this idea of, you know, you're too good for me, I'm too whatever, too sad, too lonely, that's only going to hold you back. I'm, I'm sure this wasn't the intention of when they wrote the song. Maybe that was their experience or his experience. That's fine. I'm just saying if you're listening to this and you think you have a twin flame and you're singing along to it, please be, pay attention to what you're singing along to because you're confirming something that you probably don't want to happen but you're making it happen subconsciously. So just be aware of that. And with lyrics, songs, the way you think, the way you talk, you should really only say things in the present moment form. So you should say things that are happening now, like I am successful, not I will be successful. And you should really only say things that you want to be true. So I'll give you an example. Let's say if you constantly, you're constantly late for things. And when you arrive, they're like, why are you late? And you say, well, I'm always late. You know, I've always been late. You're confirming what's happening and you're making sure that it keeps happening in the future. Whereas what you should be saying is, I'm not usually late or, you know, I'm usually on time. And although it might not be true in the moment and it might not be true about your past, if you keep saying it, it will, you'll make it become true. 
you will make it actually become the truth. So the same thing applies with this. If you if you constantly say things to yourself, like my twin flame is too good for me, I don't deserve my twin flame, or we'll never be together, the journey has to be difficult, then they're, ne- they're never going to reply. You're literally manifesting that to happen. You're, you're creating that reality from thin air, from your thoughts. And, and this happens in many different ways. I can explain in, in different videos how this happens, but it doesn't really matter how it happens. The fact is that it does happen when the alternative is, is just as easy and it actually manifests and creates the reality you want and feels better as well because you don't have these thoughts of, oh, I'm not good enough or, you know, they'll never apply. It's a choice. Okay. So anyway, that's my opinion about the song. It's a good song, but I think the chorus, it's not ideal. You know, if you're a twin flame, it's not ideal to be singing that, but it's good that it's getting pop, uh, popularity, publicity, bringing attention to twin flames. That's great. But just pay attention. So let me know what you think in the comments, by the way. And but I'll try and link to the actual song in the description. So if you haven't heard it, you can go and check it out. And I'll see you next time.